Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Friday the 30th of October 2015 and we're briefly discussing the reasons why Venezuela has been selling its gold. In February 2015, Venezuela had the equivalent of $14 billion in gold reserves. By May, this had fallen to $11.7 billion. Why? Because it has had to sell some of its gold reserves to make debt payments, says Edward Glossop, emerging markets economist at Capital Economics. Cash reserves are almost virtually zero, he added. Despite having the world's largest oil reserves and with almost 98% of its external revenue coming from oil exports, its currency has plummeted. Inflation has skyrocketed to over 100% and it cannot pay for basic imports. Venezuela's economy is expected to shrink 10% this year, according to the IMF. Meanwhile, its government, led by President Nicolas Maduro, continues to ramp up public spending to shore up pensions and to subsidise grocery stores and provide free health care. These policies are almost impossible to maintain when oil prices plummet. Mr Wynne Thin, a global head of emerging markets at Brown Brothers Harriman, said the bottom line is that the spending is unsustainable with oil below $50 and needs to be reined in. Thin believes Venezuela will eventually cut spending to avoid default, but he points out that financial markets overall are predicting a default. Apart from its gold reserves, Venezuela's backup funds consist of $2.3 billion credit with the IMF and cash reserves under $1 billion. Experts say there are two possible life savers for Venezuela now. One, a rally in oil prices could help Venezuela get more money into its coffers, but that's not looking too likely short term. And two, China or Russia, its key allies, can volunteer to pay its debts. However, according to some commentators, Russia has its own economic problems and appears unlikely to bail out Venezuela. China did give Venezuela billions last year and it could come to the rescue again. But relying on China at a time when its own economy is slowing is unsustainable. The central bank's press department declined to comment on the decline in gold holdings. According to Barclays economist Alejandro Ariazza, the latest figures support estimates that Venezuela had about $42 billion of total assets, including off-budget funds, at the end of the third quarter, of which $15 billion was liquid. He said liquid assets will fall to about $8 billion by the end of the year. It does not take a mathematician to calculate that with $15 billion worth of liquid assets and $3 billion to be paid this week, and 12 billion in 2016, Venezuela only has 12 months left to hope that oil prices rise. Otherwise, default will inevitably occur. We feel that Russ Dallin, managing partner at Latinvest, a Miami based firm that invests in Venezuela, sums it up quite well. He said, what kind of government does it take to bring a country with the largest oil reserves in the world to the brink of bankruptcy? 
let's watch the space. And for those who make large that gold inevitably has to rise because of various governments demand, let's not forget that many too may have to sell theirs as well. We hope you found this video helpful and informative and would appreciate it if you would give it a thumb up, comment and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Disclaimer. Silver Illuminati owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal view.